Alright, we're just mixing our paint now. I've added a second camera. Um, it's the mic cam, I guess, for now. Sorry if I sniff a lot. It's like 30 degrees outside and uh, it's quite cold. But I think what I'm going to do today is just outline the basic shapes of the portrait. And then I can just fill it in as I feel like it. As long as I don't screw that up. I'm trying to see which is a faster way, if it's if outlining is faster than going square by square. Because you'll get the same result eventually as long as you do enough painting as it is. But yeah. But you can see below with the Sagan that I started to outline him too. And he was turning out okay. I mean I could have finished him and he would have been fine. Just made him a made him a comic book style, you know? Instead of a realistic style. Um cheap cheap and nasty. So much wasted paint. Okay, anyway. I have a feeling my paintbrush my airbrush is gonna um jam. So here's hoping it doesn't. So we'll find out. Three drops, squeeze it back in. Okay. Put that safety where you can't knock it over. Come on. Yeah, if you're just blowing air and you're not getting anything, even though your air pressure is fine, and yeah, okay, so either my, my thing is jammed and unclean, oh no, I just dropped the tip, where did I put it? That would suck. That would suck out loud because that goes right under the house. Maybe I should invest in a rug. Uh, hmm, give me one sec. Maybe I got lucky and it didn't fall under the house. So professional. I know. Such professionality. Ah, and the sniffing. Anyway. I will get that later, because I don't need it, um, as long as I can paint. Okay, so it's definitely jammed. Alright, so what you do, clear a jam. So you jack up your, uh, your air pressure. Yeah, it shouldn't be this high to get any kind of paint out. So what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll take this apart and I'll clean it and I'll lube it. And I'll show you what I do. It's been a while since I've done it. Um, yeah. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna just use this for now. What page are we on? We're on page one. Yeah. So page one. Starts with him getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Here. Nine. Yeah, you don't really want to do this. You want to clean your machine as quickly as possible. Because it's just going to jam. But it's full of paint, and it's like, I want to use the paint, I don't want to waste the paint. If I waste the paint, it's like, I don't have the money to buy more paint. Okay, we'll just... Where's that? Can you see that? No, you can't see that. Anyway, well that's fine. Uh, my page is... Um, hmm. 
I don't care. All right, we'll clean it out. We'll clean it out, and I'll show you what to do. So you got to dump your paint. So you got to take a lot of water, and you got to thin that paint out so it'll get through the system. Um, now I don't personally use airbrush cleaner, uh, airbrush medium, because it dulls the color. And now there's this thing you have to do called back stopping. And that's which is basically where you oh is my chuck on the screen or something? There it is. Oh it's there it is. There's the cord. Something's wrong. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Huh. No, we'll take it apart. Um, you may need a wastewater water container, which I didn't bring with me. So I'm going to go grab one real quick. Uh, because I need to empty out this thing and take it apart as fast as I can. Oh, there it is. Um, I was looking for something and I found it. So, uh, I will be right back and I'll probably cut this out, but I don't want to stop things running because everything's set up. So, be right back with the wastewater container. You should have one anyway because you're dealing with acrylic paint and it's a toxic substance. You know, it's basically plastic water. Um, be right back. Okay. That wasn't too long. The great thing about being schizoaffective is you have a lot of pill bottles. Um, and that's my, it's one of my dogs, who is very lonely. Aren't you, girl? Hmm. The sniffing will drive me nuts. But I've blown my nose like four times and it's still leaking and it's like, okay. Anyway. Uh, oh, where's the camera again? Over here. Wastewater container. Doesn't matter what it is. As long as you can seal it so you can dispose of things can, uh, safely. Um, uh, so we're going to, what you do is you dump the water. Or the paint. You dump the paint. You try and clear it as much as you can. It is really jammed. This is this is why you look after your machinery as you go. This is this is poor professionalism. And this is how you ruin your airbrush. Now, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. Let's see. See if the GoPro can do it. Um, but in here, there's still paint residue, so you actually have to try and get it out. Yeah, so you got most of it out. You grab some airbrush cleaner because if if you can get any liquid through, come on, Chuck, not do your job. Okay, there's also one other thing you can do, uh, which is fill it with airbrush cleaner, pull it back, and then pull the chuck nut back manually, and that'll force air cleaner, uh, that'll force things th through it. No. Now, there's another problem, because that's not right. So let's take it apart. We'll turn our airbrush. We'll turn our airbrush off. Our compressor off. We'll undo it, and I'll teach you how to clean an airbrush as quickly as I can. I must have not done that last time I was using it, which is just honestly from lack of use of 
for a while. Okay. You unscrew the base. You unscrew the back end. You unscrew the chuck nut a little bit so it releases the pressure. And then there's a few things you can do to identify. Okay, let me see if I can. Okay, okay. So here is your is your um, your trigger. Now in here that's tiny and you can't see it is a little lever, and it's actually what's pushing this back. And if you pull this back, you'll see the lever here is going back with it. Now as long as those are moving together, you're good. You're good. Pain will flow. But if you're um, if it's stuck for any reason, you have to undo the chuck nut. Make sure you don't lose it at the bottom of the house like I just lost my tip. You gotta pull the tip out. And you'll see, which you won't be able to see because you're so far away, that my needle is dirty. Now that tiny bit of paint is dry and and that's what's screwing it up. So you take a swab, you go into your swab bottle, um, and you can use water, but I, I prefer using cleaner, just because I know it's it's a d dissolvent. Um, and try not to poke yourself with the needle. I've done that a few times. And you're just gonna. Clean, clean the shaft as quickly as you can. Um, now, it's a two-part process. You have to clean the shaft, well, three-part process. Clean it. Clean the needle tip without bending it, so only upward strokes. And if you notice something, every tip will eventually get its own pattern from being worn and cleaned and used, and it'll be bent. Now, you can straighten it with your thumbnail if you know which way to bend it or you can just leave it and just accommodate yourself to, to, to using it or you can replace it it's up to you but now that's clean so then that gets put uh, somewhere safe and you're gonna go into your into your cup can you see yeah you can see I need to put that somewhere where I can see so you can see without me having to turn my head I mean, I'm still learning Anyway, same deal. Uh, just, just wipe it out. Um, it'll, it'll take a second. Uh, block the end of it and fill it with cleaner. Not, not like, like two drops. Two drops. You don't need a lot. Grab your, your handy dandy airbrush scrub uh, things. Again, these are super abrasive, so they do damage the brush over time, but they work really well for getting cleared paint out. Um, I think I got mine with my airbrush originally, uh, my first Ottawa, but you may have gotten, you, you may be able to get it from um, from just online or wherever, and then you just stick it through and you, you clean it out. Yeah. Um, will this undo? This will undo. Oh, it's a little different than what I'm used to. Okay. Now, do I still have that? I should have that. There's one more thing you have to do, uh, which may be up here. Uh, hopefully. They're hard to find. Nope, that's long gone. Okay, that's a bummer. <sighs> that's a bummer indeed. Um, there's a tiny little wrench you can get that comes with most of these. And that's to take the tip off. Which I don't have anymore, so I can't clean my tip properly. So, You're just going to put your mouth on the end of it and blow, and if it clears the tip, that's good. But you'll also notice that the tip is dirty as well, so you'll take, you'll take your cotton swab and you'll clean the tip. 
and uh, yeah, that's most of the cleaning. And then what you'll notice is if the tip is clean, um, which you may, may have just missed, is that if you push down with the cotton swab, this will start squirting liquid, which means that you've actually cleared the leak, cleared the blockage. Um, yeah. So then you got to spray water. Uh, you got to do a few more things. Uh, no, 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 no! Don't touch that. Okay. So first things first, put the tips back on. Um, man, where is that other tip of mine? I really hope it didn't fall into this crawl space. Because that would suck. Uh, I didn't see where it bounced. I'll have to get on the floor and have a look. Anyway, I'm just hoping I don't run it over and flatten it. You know? Because, um, that would just be horrendous to me. Okay, not the time to look for it. Anyway. Oh, was I sitting on it? No, that's something else. Oh, that's the GoPro cover. Okay. So you've got your, you've got this cleaned. The next thing you have to do is you have to lube up your, uh, your needle. Um, so when I bought my CMC Plus, I mean, seven years ago, I was given a bottle of lube and I've used, I've used this much, I mean in seven years for multiple brushes. Um, all you do is you take a tiny, tiny drop of it, not much, and I'm sure it's past its shelf life, but honestly, it's silicon lube, it doesn't matter. It's not going to break down inside a sealed container. And you have to figure out where it is. Now, if you, if you have a look at your, at your needle, you're going to see that there's a small indentation where something's rubbing against it. It's very it's minute and it's and it's usually where the paint gathers. So that's where you that's where you lube it. And you lube it backwards a little bit. Yeah. And that's about all you have to do. Um, and then very carefully you're going to Put your needle back through. Back through your system. You're going to tie your chuck nut back on. And you're going to test the system to make sure that the, that the needle's moving. That the needle's moving cleanly. And this. And this, you, um, and then you just put it back together. So it's not too hard. It's just you have to do it every day um, if you want it to last forever, including the lubing. Because I mean, every time you paint, every time you paint, you're gonna put paint on the on that part. So now I'm gonna run the uh, airbrush cleaner through it and some water through it again just to make sure it's clean, and then we'll get back to painting. And then the one thing you're gonna have to do is recalibrate the uh, needle. So that's done by um, loosening and tightening the chuck nut. Um, you leave um, you leave the last you leave the um, the flow uh, nut all the way open, and you just you just have to figure out exactly how tight the chuck nut has to be, so that you can get flow back again. So I'm just gonna do water actually because I I've already done cleaner so. But this is why you spray on, uh, oh, whoops, let's turn this back on. All right. Yeah. So now it's spraying super wide. Not that you can see it, but it's super wide. Um, and that's not, that's not so bad. My air pressure is up really high. And you'll be able to tell by the sound of the air pressure what you actually like. 
you know? Um, oh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Okay, back to painting. Okay, so for me, I have this little bar down here that's covered in years of paint. So I'm just going to spray it and see what it does. Okay. It's spidering like crazy. But it's flowing. Alright. So we're happy. Um, you may have to very, very gently push the needle back in a little bit further and then tighten the chuck nut. Um... If you do that repeatedly, you'll stretch out your needle nozzle, but um, those get replaced anyway, like every few years, and they're not expensive. So let's let's start working on the shape of this guy because I I want to see what he looks like. What he looks like. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The problem is that it's gray on gray. I think it goes here. And then up to here. And then this part is here. And it can be light, it doesn't have to be heavy. Um, okay, I need you to stay in a workable space. Okay, uh, how many have I got? One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we get the skin. Skin's fun. Okay, skin's fun. But we're not gonna do skin today. Oh, why are you not flying? Come on, flow, you son of a bitch. Oh, where's the line? There's the line. Oh, we've got a mistake here. No, we don't. Want... Yeah, there we are. Line is there. Okay. Uh, one. Two. Now, if you notice, without the tip nozzle, you get a lot of splashback, where it'll, uh, it must have gone down the crawl space. That's such a bummer. Oh, well. That's a bummer. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. So... Here, down to here, um, and this just goes up here, and then we've even got some ear, um, Okay. Okay. So then this is where it gets fun. So then you're going to do a little bit here. And this goes down to the third point. Third point here. So down here. And of course, you're going to make so many changes. That it doesn't really matter if how wrong you are the first the first pass through. It's just you have to get. Did I get third? Yeah, it was about a third. And then it's gonna go. It's gonna go like right around there. Okay. 
but at the same time that he's doing the neck thing. Wait, what am I doing? Okay, this is the point that I'm using as reference. This is the point that I'm using as base. There's his neck. Um, and that goes to here. Oh, let me out. Nope. See? It's just finicky. Okay. Okay. Okay, that part's done. At the same time of his neck, there's a straight line for his t shirt, which should be, which should be his shoulder and this and it goes down one goes down one goes down one and then it goes like this a little bit and hooks off and then goes down a little bit more. And then we get into, into some fuzzy stuff. So fuzzy stuff is fun because it's less work, but you know how it is. Okay, so yeah, I mean that goes all the way across, so that's nice. That kind of cuts the shirt off. Um, and then, yeah, that's not right. that, okay, this is going to be like this, and like this, and we'll just color this in real quick, because this finger here is like this, and then it's like, oh, it's way off, because it should be here. Okay, and then a little bit of finger here, and then down here, right, at the same time there's a little bit of thumb, and then the thumb is going to go around. And then circle back. And then circle back again. And this is where you'll get into your shading quite deeply because it's all out of focus, but it's also quite layered, which you're going to see for quite a bit. But uh, yeah. So that actually goes all the way to the corner. Now if you find yourself having to keep adjusting your chuck nut, it means either your air pressure is too low or your uh, your um, your air pressure is too low, or your paint's too thick, or your brush is unclean. But um, don't stress; you'll you'll figure it out. Uh, let's see. So we're doing fingers right now. So that goes straight down, and then straight down with a tip at the end. So if we're down for two. Does it go down all the way for two? Yes. All the way down for two. And then here it meets up with the black bit that we did before, which was just a marker. 
Mm -hmm. Airbrushing can be an exercise in frustration because it's so finicky. But it's so much fun when you get it right. Uh, we'll do this bit. And okay, I'm going to go a little bit faster because this is going to take a while. But uh, let's see, we're just doing outlines, we're not doing details. So, I mean, this part here is here because all of this is shadow. Yeah. Okay. Um, where is that finger? So that's change, change to right around there. And then there's this bit here. goes up to about here. Uh, let's see. And then it goes straight through. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to do any of the shadowing today, I don't think. I think I just want to get the fingers and the rest of the body put out. Because it's just like, that's the fun bit. Um, okay. We're here. This bit actually just comes down to here. And then this part goes all the way over to there. I could easily make this a comic book style. I mean, it wouldn't be. T it would be way easier to do that, and that's just a lot of white paint and a lot of heavy black. Um, I've never done it with an airbrush. I don't know. I could do real. I could do photorealism, or I could do like comic book style and see how I go. Because I, I would like to get back into comic books just for fun. You know, just to see if I could do it. Okay, I am... Oh, right. That finger is in the right place. This part is descriptive. So... Just come on. Come on. Man, it's jamming like crazy. Can't we put too much lube? That's also another possibility. Yeah, it's splatter. But anyway... Or I could be using finger grease, which you don't want to use. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, we're over here with the fingers. We're over here with the fingers. So, that's like that. And then, it's like that. And the next one up is like this, and like this. And then, uh, where does it stop? That's a finger, and that's annoying because it's completely blurred out, and it matches his skin tone on his face, except it's opposite. So that's like, goddamn. Um, 
So that's two across. So, I mean, basically it's like up here. Um, how many places? Up, two, three? No, up, two. Up, two. the fifth one is his tip. Let's see. Shoulder blade? Shoulder blade. Yeah, fifth one is his tip. So that's fun. And that goes all the way up here. And then this goes down here. We should finish off his neck, really. I mean, really, the fingers there. Uh, we've done that one. So the next part is this part. Oh, did I screw up? Let's see. Let's see. Up one. Up one. So that's there. And this is here. It's starting to jam. It's just maybe I didn't mix the paint long enough. Uh, you can always add water and mix it in the in the brush if you want. It's up to you. Anyway, fingers up. Uh, hands not defined, but fingers are there. That thumb is huge because it's closer to the camera. That's why it's out of focus. Um, and you'll see when I get into detail how it how it spreads out and uh, deforms. Fingers there. Uh, okay, oh, okay, so, uh, so this is actually like this. Okay, that's his jawline. Fingers are there. Suit top is here, suit top is there, ear is here, um, fingertip is here, um, so is his mouth, uh, and we'll, we'll try and get the mouth going properly. directly it is a beauty mark it's way too big but that's okay and across from the beauty mark is I guess that would be his jaw cheekbone and that goes all the way into here with some shading and into here it's quite thick so you can make it thicker because you can always make it shorter and then it's going to go all the way up Okay. Okay, and then the next part is going to be his nose, well, a nostril anyway. Um, you have to do a lot of triangulation when you're doing stuff like this because it's just like 
it's like uh, it's a lot of. It, it, I think of painting as math based. And then it goes down like this, and then it squares off like this, and then it goes down like this. Okay. Okay, I'll just paint it in real quick so that we've got a little bit of shading. So that's a quarter of his face done. Oh no, I'm missing I'm missing part of his ear. Silly me. Uh, let's see. Should end up here. So that goes down to here. Um, and this goes here and goes down and like that. Okay, so that's the first page basically framed. So we'll move to the second page. Um, I think these share... I'm not sure if they do. Hmm. Give me one second. I've got I to gotta fold some paper to make sure that I'm not overlapping uh, squares here. I'm not quite sure. I never, never do remember to do this part properly. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, yeah, the squares overlap, so that's a problem. Um, they cut off halfway through, so you're going to make sure you're painting correctly um, let's see we'll do the we'll do the mouth first because there's two of those one okay so that starts there and it goes up and up and then through here okay this is, this is actually a, a fainter shade of gray so we'll make that darker and then it goes just a little bit down here Come on. down here and then it just connects just connects it a little bit okay now we'll do the nose because the nose is important so that part that we shaded in uh, here is actually his nostril not his nostril his uh I don't know what it's called. It's his nose. And then it goes straight up like that. And then there's a dark bit right here for a nostril. And a little bit here. Yeah. And then there's a tiny bit of shading. Uh, well, there's a lot of shading. Because it's it's basically like and then like straight. Oh, where does it end? Here. Straight down here and here and straight. There we go. Like that. Okay. Now, under the lip, by the finger, I'm going to say under there, yeah, is 
this bit. So we have this bit here. And it's circular. Oh, I'm out of paint. Oh, no, it's just bubbling. Come on. Okay. And it goes up like this. Oh, well, we shaded it anyway. And then, this where it goes like this. And then, on the block, then it skips the block, and then halfway down, it goes and does this. And that should be his chin. So what does his finger do? His finger stays blurry the whole way through. And then on the same level as his chin goes to here. And then you can actually move over. Okay, same level as chin goes over there, uh, chin goes up, chin goes across here, and then goes to here. Whoops. Oh well, we'll paint it over. And goes here. And then here's the next connection and it just goes straight down. Okay, so we're slowly getting the form right, and it's just depending on where you want to work, how you want to work. Um, for this next bit, it's the small corners that. Okay, we're switching pages, so I can actually clear up my work. <sighs> okay, so it's these little bits here that make the difference. Okay, there, and then it's going to go to here, and swing down, and you'll see as you start doing it more, it gets easier and easier, as long as you can see what you're doing. So this part, it's going to be like around or right around here, Oop, it's going to be straight, he's got a jaw, he's got a jaw there, and then it's going to go like that, corner off. So, and then up above is his, is his ear. Let me make sure, yep. So you, you tend to start at the top, and you bring it down. Can I have a paint? No, I'm so close though. And okay, so let's come on. yeah. Okay. And a little bit of ear. Does it go to the next block? Can't tell because it's all gray. But I don't think so. So triangulate that, it's below, the, so it's, it's up here. Okay. Cool. So we're getting there. Um, Okay, so we'll go down to the second block and we'll start drawing the suit again. And it's nice because it's just going to be like right here. Come on, don't spider on me. Um, and it's going to be here. And 
and then it takes a very sharp turn downward. And then this bit goes the opposite direction. And it looks like it goes like this. Oh, that was, is that too low? No. I gotta, you should really hold on with both hands. I don't know about you, but I, I get the shakes from my meds. So. Okay, that was a little off. So that, that goes in the corner. Um, and then the last one goes down about that far. So all of that's going to be suit. So we should do his neck and do his shirt. We've done his chin. Um, we should need to do his finger because his finger is a pain in the butt. So we got to figure out where his chin is. So uh, you can work that out by his suit. So one, two, three is where his suits, his shirt starts and his neck starts. So we'll start with his, with his shirt. And the tip. Where's it going to end up? It's going to end up right around here. And then it's going to go halfway through to here. And then it's going to go pretty much here. And then you've got a tiny little bit that crosses here. And then it's going to go here. And then a little bit of triangle here. And a little bit of triangle here. And then you meet them up. So that's, that's part of his shirt done. Um, it's going to hit his finger uh, about halfway through. So we'll draw his finger like say halfway through. And that means that above it, uh, it'll be about halfway through as well. Reaching for that middle bit. Because it's out of focus as well. So let's draw the shirt connecting to the... That might be too high. Nope. Okay, and then this part here is going to stop here and go here. It's going to go up here. Um, I'm going to have a small bit here. Um, okay. And then it's just going to wait. Yeah, it's only about this wide. And then it comes to a gradual point. Cool. So that's his shirt. So maybe. Maybe what's over here is his finger. And you just can't tell because the picture quality is so low. Hmm. Because there is shadow all the way through here. Shadow. Sorry, okay. Here's your marker. There's shadow. There's shadow here. And it goes down through to here. And then it goes down through to here. And it goes down through to here. Okay, and then for that finger with the, the, well, okay. Okay, 
So, I don't know how much of the shadowing I really want to get into right now. Realistically. Because it's like... Um, I'm going to go square by square anyway. Just give me one sec. I've got to take off my jumper. But we should have the outline done pretty soon because it's only four quadrants and it's like once his hand is done and um, ah, I need to sit in this chair properly. Okay. So then we have that. It looks like he has a pocket square. So that's just straight down here. And then here. And then up. And here. And then finger again. And then this goes all the way to the finger. Okay, this is where it changes. It starts to go to here. And yep, there's a little bit here. And it goes down to here. Should be straight down. Well, at an angle. Can't clean off the nozzle. Right. Okay. That's that bit done. The suit is a nightmare. I'm not looking forward to it, but it is what it is. Oh. Uh, yeah, it does connect. It does connect there, yeah. Okay, so we've got the bottom half of him basically sorted. So let's work on the top half. This will be fun. And once we're done with this, we can actually decide what to work on next. And I, I'm kind of on the fence about painting the background white. You know, so I can make him into a uh, Photoshopable thing. You know? I don't know, I haven't decided. I mean, true to reference, he wouldn't have it, but if you've read any of his books, I mean, he was a synesty, I'm a synesty, um, there's, he's, he used to play pranks on people, so you could, you could do the, you could do, like, jokes about the, the prank of where he, he figured out that his, his co-worker used the um the specific formula for the code for his, for his vault and he broke into it and would put notes in it which is a very a very bold move to be doing when you're dealing with government stuff i would assume okay are we gonna do left or right first i don't know let's see okay so first we're gonna fold the corners because they are in the way Now, one thing I notice about people who airbrush with hair 
is they do long, wispy strokes, and they never look good. So, if my hair looks any good, and anyone's interested, not that anybody's watching, um, I can teach you how to do hair properly, and it's just a layering technique. Same way you would layer most things. Okay, Mr. Head. Alright, we'll do, we'll do left side first, because that's where it's at. This be fun. Okay. How much paint I've got? Oh, I got tons. No, no, no. Stay with me. Okay. Okay. Okay, the eye's gonna be a pain in the ass. Okay, start with the air because that's gonna be your point of reference. Right? Yes. Right? Yeah. Okay, ear. Ear goes up. He starts here. Goes down and around. Whoa, not like that. He doesn't have. Okay, like that. Yep. Got a little ahead of myself. Uh, hmm. Okay, so he has a little bit of like this. And like this. And there's your ear. And then over here, he's going to have a little bit of this. And like this. Okay. Okay, and then the thing is about that part is that that part connects to his jaw. Okay. And it also starts this bit. My stomach is cramping so bad right now. Mm. I'm a fan of hot sauce and I had this Mad Dog 357 and it's just like, it's a killer. It doesn't taste good, it doesn't... The heat's just painful. It's just not your friend. Whereas like, if you go and get like, the Heatonist, um, 2 million Scoville thing, it like, it tastes good. And the heat's not even close. I mean, it's it might make your eyes water, but it's just I don't know. It's just better. It doesn't make you sick. Okay, all the way up. So here, all the way down, all the way down. Oh, ears are pretty be problematic for me. Okay, and then he's gonna be like this. Now, the hair's going to look like shit until I, um, I get to it, but, I mean, I don't care, really, not really at all, and then we're just going to do this, because we're fuzzing it, and then there's a little bit of white, so we'll leave the white there, and we'll color this in. I'm missing something. What am I missing? Oh, the, this part. Right. Oh, did I screw that up? Here's there. Here's there. So, this is like this. And this is like this. And this is like this. Oh, because it crosses the line. It's not quite right, but it's better than nothing. Okay, and then this part here, where he's got his sideburns, goes up here. This part here goes like this. This part here goes over to here. He 
just going to have a little, wait, yeah, he is. And a little wisp there. A little curly Q here. Yep. And then it's going to be here. for this one. So this part here would be straight across and then like this and then color it in. Just a light gray. Just a shadow. Okay, um, I'm so tempted to do the hair now. This hair's fine. It looks like paint. I mean, and it's so reflective. I could could, I could, I could, I could. Nah. Nah, I'll do the layering. I can, I can do just the layering instead. I wonder... I wonder how that's looking. Let's have a look at that hand, because that hand doesn't look quite right. There is stuff missing. Oh! Duh! Duh. Okay. Now, I've got to figure out where it is. Finger goes there. Oh, Jordan, you missed a bit. You missed a bit, quite a bit. Why did you do it? Come on. Okay. Okay. Because it has the suit. Duh. Okay, so triangle, little triangle, one, two, three, that's where it begins, three, okay, let's throw the rest of that hand in, before we forget, throw the rest of the hand in, um, Tip clean and you'll have a better life. Okay, there's that. Goes up here. Then it goes around here. And then it goes here. This bit here looks like it just goes straight across, but as a lump. So let's this. Okay, we can just blast this with. shadowing today. It's just easier to... There's no detail for that. That. Or that. Okay, so all three of these can be colored in. But you'll see how as you bring the, the spray wider, it's nicer looking, it's more powdery, but it's, um, it's just not, um, you got to be very careful not to overpaint.
Yeah, so this is just pure blackness according to the picture reference that I've got. I'm sure in the high def version that I've got sitting on my wall it's not. But I can't help that because my printer only prints so well. I mean I could have done like a high res print on my on my um uh my professional print making printer, but it's very expensive. And a black and white print would have cost me like ten dollars and it's like I don't have that kind of money. Anyway, I wonder how this looks. How's it looking? Uh it's okay. It's not too bad. Hmm. Is my mic working? Doesn't look like it. Oh, that would be a bummer if the mic didn't work the entire time. Anyway, it wouldn't matter. Still getting work done. Okay, where are we? We've got we've got one, two, one, two, three. Come on now. Three. Yeah, it's too It's too loose. Uh, three, one, two, three, four. So the four is like this, and then it's like this. Excuse me. Okay, so your hair is like that. And then it goes like a bump. And this is where it would get shiny. This is where you paint in the whites and stuff. This is where you're going to get into layering really hard. Um, because, and you're going to use thin down paint because you're the, the, the lower level of the paint, the better off you'll be. Um, well, I guess the GoPro's recording too, so... I mean, at least there's that. I mean, at least there's something. I don't know. We'll find out. There's just no mic. Oh, I do have an 80s directional mic I could plug in, I guess. I have that attachment. I don't know. One second. Sorry. Yeah, no response. Maybe it doesn't do anything while you're recording. I'm still new to OBS. I don't know jack about it. I really don't. Anywho, what was I doing? I was doing something. Drawing a bump. Drawing another bump. Bumping it up. Bumping it up. And then... Ooh, now it goes quite high. Okay. Oh, I should probably draw his eye in, huh? That'd be a good idea, draw the eye in. Um, let's see, ear. Ear. Two. And draw the cheekbone. In. That's the problem. Whoa. There we go. Okay. Okay. Um, two. Two, 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 three. Oh, oh, come on. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So this goes here. And then this goes here. Okay. Now this one here and this one here. This is where I am. So we're going to do this, 
And it's going to go up to here, a little bit here. And we're going to draw this bit. And now we're going to draw this bit here. Ah, I should be curved up. So, any changes you can make in the beginning help. Okay. We have a little bit of fuzziness here. Uh, that goes all the way up. Yeah, I'm not a fan of eyes, really. Okay. And then it goes... find out. Over here. And then across here is here. And up. And over. Okay. And that's about halfway through the eye, halfway through the square. Halfway through the square, so that's there. the pupil. Okay. And that goes basically across. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is going to take me a while to get the hang of, but it doesn't matter. I have it all the time. So, then this goes up, and this goes across. Here's a little bit of this. This has a little bit of this. This has a little bit of this. And then this is quite dark. Yeah, it's going to look terrible at first. Um, you know, pointillism artist is what it is. How's it looking? Oh, you bug eyed freak. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, he has the strangest eyebrows. He really does. Because, I mean, they go from here. Wait, where? Here? Here to here to here to here, and then
missing something. So, what am I missing? Oh, I screwed up. So, this part here goes over, how far? All the way down. Because we can add a little bit of this, a little bit of softening around the corners here, a little bit of hard edges, give the eye some depth. But still, it looks like crap. And it's going to. They're just placement markers. Oh, and then uh, he's got fuzziness here and fuzziness all the way down to here. So yeah, his eyebrow is just crazy. Anyway, that, oh, uh, should we do the, yes we should. Um, okay, one, two. So that actually has a little bit that goes up here. And then across here we have a frown line. And another frown line. Three. Oh, it's not wrong. Okay. Weird. I just drew the line too thick. Okay. Finish the ear and then do the inside and the nose and all that jazz. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's the problem. That's the problem. Uh, I've screwed up here. This should be a three, so it should be up here. Come on. Okay. Yeah, that's what I get for not paying attention. Dummy, 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 dummy. Anyway. Okay, and this should be a two. No, it's also a three. Okay, it's a three. goes to the halfway point. See, it's okay to make mistakes here because nobody gives a shit. You can fix pretty much anything at any point in this because you're using acrylic. It's not like oil where if you overpaint or underpaint it's going to crack. It's very forgiving. It's nice. 
you know? It's not like I hate you because you're acrylic, I'm acrylic and you suck at this. Um, let's go this here. This goes down to the mid. Here. Oh, don't channel me, man. This goes to the inclusion. Yeah, and so what you have here is you have people doing stuff like this and like this. Whereas if you do pointillism with it and then fade it and then pointillism over it, you'll get much nicer looking results. It's more work for her hair, but it's it's much nicer looking. It's going to go here. And here. Now, if I've done this right, which I have, hopefully, so I'm going to go up to here. And then it just goes across, it's going across. Yeah, see, I just, I just made a mistake. Which is okay. I'll paint over it today and, and we'll just say, hey, that's okay. Who cares? Nobody cares. Uh, hmm. But yeah, so far I've only used six drops of paint. And, um,. I haven't got a lot done, but, I mean, you know, this is what it is. Okay, I should do that here. I'm not looking forward to the year. Okay, so this part here, that's that bit. I think this is going to go like this. And then like this. Uh, yeah. And this part's gonna go, what? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay, we'll go back up here. It's saying his ear ends here. Like right here. And then goes straight down. And then there's this bit here where there's that little bump. And then it goes straight down again. And it ends right around here. And then you've got this bit. And oh, my hand is shaking so badly. Must be getting tired. And then on the second part, it's going to be like this. And on the third part, it's going to be like this. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, I gotta do the eyeball. Ugh, hate the eyeballs. Okay. Anyway, and the nose. Go to the nose. Nosey, 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 nosey. So what page do I need to do for nose? Nope. Crooked ears, but um, that's what it is. Okay, I'm trying to do the eye, and I can't do that. I'm, no, I'm trying to do the nose. And my easel is on the way. My easel is in my way. I don't know. Oh, uh, sorry. Schizophrenia. Just somebody said something. And this breaks off here. Get eyebrow, which goes up here. Oh, matches the Sagan eye. That's kind of funny. Um, and down here. We should do the um do the wrinkles. Okay, so above the head, one spot above is this one. Looks like he's got a brain scar. We could make him Frank and find men. That'd be fun. Okay, now that the nose shadow's in place. Um, um we'll bridge the gap a little bit and fix this up. Uh, okay, now the nose bridge nose bridge is in play. It's going to start here and be one over in the middle. Start 
here, one over in the middle. Yep. And then it's going to go all the way over here. All the way down to here. And then it's going to go like this. And like this. And at the very center side. Look at it, Jordan. Uh, yeah. Oops. It's from when your hand slips. Yeah, that looks terrible, but I don't care. Um, let's make this darker. poke yourself on the needle. So if you like injecting yourself with a little bit of pain every time you do that, you can do that. And it bends the needle, which is great. Oh, when does it stop? Oh, right around there. Okay. And then he's got a puff of under his eye. So he's going to sit under in the middle. So like this. Um, and like this. Yeah. So it's a look. Yeah, except for the brain scar, I mean he doesn't look too bad. Excuse me. Okay, uh, I'm going to clean up my brush and paint over that brain scar right quick because I don't want to see it anymore. Maybe I can wash it off, I don't know. But now I'm going to get rid of a bunch of paint that I haven't used. So that'll be fun. Remember kids, clean your shit. Oh, I'm going to turn the recording off now. No, I'm not. I'm, I'll, I'll paint over the... I'll, I'll paint over the... Um, I'll paint over... I will, I will paint over the, the brain scar and we can see what that's like. That's the sound of a clean airbrush. No, that's no, not. Almost. It's almost clean. But, um, there'll be residue in your cup, so just get rid of it. Yeah, as best you can. And then run water through it again. And then try to back blast it. It's where you you touch the nozzle. You pull back the, the, the trigger and then you touch the nozzle. Um, you touch, 
Just the nozzle so that the air flows through the uh, back through the brush, and then you clean it again, and it it gets rid of a little bit of extra paint. Okay, I'm gonna mix the white now. So that'll be fun. Should be a little thicker than the black, but we're done with the black for today, so I'll put it horrible. I'll we'll throw it away. Just so waste hold up. That's what it is. I gotta find that nozzle. I really do. Oh, I've been leaking. Oh, I've been leaking a great deal. I'm just been dripping. Hmm. Anyway, white paint. White paint and white paint skewer. So let's get that mixed up. Look at us, one hour, 41 minutes. It's not bad. And we just mix the stuff up. Mixing it, mixing it. Yeah. Because usually I start with the backgrounds and I go across. But I don't know. I'm kind of like, mm, I don't want to do a regular background. I kind of want to do a color background. Do some synesthesia art behind it. But uh, I don't know. There's very few recordings of him except from the 80s. Unless you're looking at his 1950s lectures um, on, oh, the Feynman theory and, uh, what is it? My brain is misfiring like crazy. Is it electric? No? Photons? Photons. Photons, gluons. That kind of jazz. It's fascinating, but it's, it's, um, I highly recommend, surely you're joking, Mr. Feynman, and it's just his writing in general. He'll teach you how to write a book that's interesting for, for reading scientific notation and, and, uh, inventing things and stuff. Yeah. And on a good note, I'm, um, getting in touch with the patent office about my, my design. So I'm happy. Yeah. Oh, I didn't wipe it off. I'm dumb. Sometimes I, my brain just is like, nope. Sweet. That's what happens when you have ADD. Your brain's just like, yeah, you're not going to figure this out right now. You're going to do this instead. Why is there black paint on my white? Nuts. I got them confused. So. Okay. You stay in there where I can't make a mess. And you go in there. And you go in there. Okay. Problem is you have to let it dry. And it takes a while. Ugh. Oh boy. But I'm getting rid of that brain scar for sure. But yeah, so I mean, that's how to draw an outline for an 18 by 24 inch portrait with six drops of paint and waste like three drops of paint. I mean, you don't need a lot when you're airbrushing. You just, you don't. If you're spraying thick, you're wasting paint, you're wasting money, you're wasting definition. 
Um, yeah, I, I mean, let me see. Let me see if I have it. So like, um, is that too shiny? That's probably too shiny. Is it going to look better that way? I don't know. But, um, I mean, that was like three layers of paint. So it's, it wasn't a lot. It's, it's a dingy old canvas. It's it's been painted on like four times. It's it's gonna be a bit funky, you know. Well, according to that, that looks okay. But I can still see it, and I have a little bit of paint left over. I gotta wait. I get impatient, you know. It's just how I am. Yeah. But having two cameras now, and I ha I have a Google Glass, so hopefully I'll have a third if it'll hold the charge, so that I can do um, line of sight as well. So you'll see actual. Sorry, my back is killing me. I'll see. You'll see actual. Uh, You'll see actual paint drops at the canvas instead of this like incomplete view from these two other cameras. And then I'm hoping to be able to splice them without having to buy something. Okay, I think this is good enough. So there's another wasted like three drops of paint. Well, you know. Instead of wasting it, I could paint his neckerchief. Well, it's a gray, so it's not actually a white. So no, I couldn't. Yeah. But here we are, at the beginning of Mr. Feynman. Um, yeah. Nothing too serious. Nothing too crazy. all the way open. It's just taking forever. Well, it's working. I have to say, Ottawa stuff is made to last for frickin' ever. Uwata. Uwata. I-W-A-T-A. Uwata. Um, is made to last for frickin' ever, and I have been very happy with their products. Um... I mean, once you get used to the smell of, you know, certain things and uh, water. Okay, well, I'm going to let this dry. I've got to clean up my materials. So that's my white paint. And my black paint dropper. 
Um, I've got to... Yeah, so it's not clean. It's so close to being clean. If I had this, if I had the wrench, I might buy one just so I can show you what to do. But I, I think I have to buy a cartridge first, so I don't lose any more parts to my airbrushes. Because that's going to suck. Because I don't have the cash to replace them. It's a little wet. If you hear any kind of clicking noise or any kind of suction noise, that's paint. And that means you're going to have to clean that crap at some point. Okay. Alright, uh, okay, right, so cleanup is essential, you want your place organized, you want it as clean as possible, um, once these have been cleaned out, and you've got your wastewater container and you can dump it and wipe out the container because you don't want sediment building up on these things because there's you're, you're, you're basically playing with toxic waste like I've said before But the great thing about pill canisters, um, you may be able to go to your pharmacy and be like, could I have a couple pill canisters? Um, do you have any spares? Because they throw them away all the time. They they may not be allowed to legally. I don't know. But if just ask your local crazy person, like family member or, um, you know, someone you know that's kind of nuts, that takes a lot of pills. And I'm sure they've saved them or they have a few. Because you're not supposed to get rid of them uh, without doing it a special way. I mean, I have, I have like scores of bottles just sitting on a bag up on a shelf because it's like I don't want to get rid of the pills I haven't taken. Anyway, I'm going to go play with my dogs and let this dry and clean up. But as I was saying, make sure your stuff is put back the way you want. Um, don't, don't leave it a mess, because, uh, there's no point, and if you're going to be a messy artist, you're, you're just, nobody likes that. I mean, honestly, nobody likes being around that. Oh, wastewater in the, um, in the spill tank. Forgot about that. It's called a slurry. I forgot about that from the last couple times. So I've got a little bit in there. If you can, see, if, can you see it? This way, this way. See? Yeah. Um. So that can go in your waste container. And then the proper way to dispose of it, um, I'll have to look it up and tell you next time. But just hold on to it. Don't pour it down your sink because it's plastic and it'll mess up your tubing. Um. Don't pour it on any ducks or, you know, where any, you know, don't pour it on your lawn or anything because you'll hurt, you'll hurt somebody. Um, but other than that, this is what we got done today in just under two hours with six drops of paint or so. Um, and we'll start doing the pointillism things next time and I'll figure out where I want to start from. Maybe the hair. But have a good day, guys. I'll learn how to splice these videos together. And, uh, yeah, rock on, guys.